Hello, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Glad to see you here. Y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. We're going to get on with your reading. We're going to have three cards for you, the person, three for the person on your mind, and the conflict overall energy. We're going to get this going for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. There's three cards for you, three for the person on your mind. Overall energy is the Emperor, and the conflict is the Page of Swords. All right, let's start out with you. Somebody wants structure. Somebody wants things the way they want want them. Um, looks like for you, you want to celebrate. You want to have a good time. You want to move toward this person. You're aimed to get what you want. Uh, also, they are your wish fulfillment, or somebody is... Uh, partying too much you can see that with the nine of cups and the three of cups celebrating uh, hanging out with friends a lot uh, for Aquarius looks like uh, there's somebody wants balance in the situation wants structure let's see about your person they're all in their head they don't feel like they can move forward with you and they feel like there's been a tower moment something that shook it up Something they've heard, learned, or someone has spoke to them. Let's see what the Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords for Aquarius. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Whatever they found out did not make them happy. They don't feel like this is the wish fulfillment anymore. Uh, like this is going nowhere for them. How do you feel about the connection? Doesn't look like you've taken this little... Doesn't see, you know, seem like you took it a little serious or anything, so, you feel like, uh, you want to drop the conflict, and you just want to be happy, how's your person going to move toward in the future, person on your mind, looks like they're not moving in, they're not moving towards you. They're, if y'all uh, were living together or thinking about moving in together, that's not going to happen. Uh, with the four of wands in reverse, we'll get the island time tarot. What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? You have cassette and the chaser. So someone is thinking, uh, replaying events over and over in their head, and then they feel like they're chasing they're codependent in the relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Someone has fear of abandonment. And, of course, they're thinking and replaying events that have happened between y'all over and over. They can't seem to get over it. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about this connection, Aquarius? It's a karmic relationship. Feelings, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, and letting go. And loving yourself. So you feel like this was a lesson learned. It was karmic. It was never meant to work out. It was happened to teach you a lesson. Um, and that's what karmic relationships do. They're triggering. Uh, they're fleeting. They don't last very long. But someone is still hung up. It looks like for Aquarius. What's the advice for Aquarius? Lack of union, lack of partnership, lack of wanting to uh, work together in a situation uh, makes no movement happen. So, for some of y'all, if you're not willing to work as a partner, work in a relationship, work it out with someone, or try to have a teamwork, makes the dream work situation, doesn't look like that's happening, uh, you're never going to be able to move forward in a relationship. And that is your advice. Alright, y'all, that was a quick message, but you get the gist. So, y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate y'all watching.